Hi, Brent Tech here. Web Tech is made simple. The Windows Timeline feature, which you can find in your task view, and is, you know, for some quite a handy little feature. The sync for Timeline is now apparently ending in July of this year, 2021. It was first reported um, from Microsoft that there were possible hints that it would be ending with the rollout and release of Windows 10 21H2, which is the second feature update rolling out later this year. Now, according to Microsoft's, the latest uh, reports from Microsoft's are saying that the sync for timeline is ending in July of this year, 2021 now, instead of with 21H2. Now, the timeline feature, as I say, is quite a handy feature. I must be honest, I don't really use it. I clear my um, history quite regularly as I don't like, you know, all the clutter. And, you know, basically what it does is it just gives you your open apps, you know, programs, a history of your documents, and, you know, you know, just a history of what you did earlier today. And you can also, you know, scroll down to earlier timestamps, which I've deleted. And, you know, you can just get to documents, um, you know, faster and quicker. Now, basically, um, the timeline sync works if you are signed into your Microsoft account and you can sync, you know, between your devices. And I actually have made a video on this previously, and I will leave a link in the description box below to that video if you are interested. And the good news is, though, is that for those of you who do use Timeline, although the sync is disappearing between your devices, it will still remain on your PC as a local feature. So your history will still be stored on your local device, you know, and in the Timeline. It just won't be synced across your different devices if you have signed in with a Microsoft account. And there's one exception, though. If you have an AAD account, that's if you have an enterprise and education account, you will still be able to sync across your devices with Timeline. It's just for the, you know, the more um, everyday users who have just a normal Microsoft account that you won't be able to use the Timeline sync between your devices. And this is now just, you know, the latest report is that Microsoft says that as of the start of uh, July, the timeline sync will be disappearing from Windows 10. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.